Oh, hey there, boss. So, what are we doing now? Uh, I don't know. Hello there. I was busy mixing the cement. We'll turn this into walls and eventually a house. Now, cement is not just cement. It's made of sand, iron, and as we'll know later, quarks. Look around you. Atoms make up everything that you step foot in. They are the building blocks of all matter in the universe. Generally, we know atoms can be further broken down into electrons and a nucleus that is surrounded by protons and neutrons. You would likely stop at that point and call it a day. But we're just at the tip of the iceberg. In 1964, Murray Gell-Mann and George Zweig introduced the idea that more tiny particles called quark existed inside neutrons and protons to explain how strong nuclear force held an atom's particle. Later, in 1969, Gell-Mann would receive the Nobel Prize in Physics for his contributions in elementary particles. Quarks are the smallest unit of matter. It forms protons and neutrons. They cannot be broken down into substructures because they are in their purest form and always appear in groups of three. There are six main types of quarks, and weirdly enough, they are called flavors, even though they're not clearly associated with food. These include up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Each flavor has a different electric charge in fraction. Up and down are the most stable and common flavors. Quarks also have colors to represent their color charge when exchanging gluons. It can be red, blue, or green. It produces a white tint for hadrons and maintains balance. If protons were large enough, their formation would work somewhat like this. Here, Lego blocks will be the quarks and the yellow circles gluons. The proton is composed of two up quarks with positive two-thirds each as their electric charge and one down quark with negative one-third. Adding the fractional charges would equal to positive one, giving the proton a positive charge. The quarks exchange gluons and their colors change. Through the strong nuclear force, the proton and everything inside it stays intact to the nucleus. With the discovery of quarks, we are a step closer towards bridging quantum physics and mechanical physics. Consider everything because the smallest details make the difference.